So they keep these refugees under a bridge like proverbial trolls. No wonder the people outside are so disturbed. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? Mr. Ronald Harlow let me in, sir. I'm Sherlock Holmes, a sub... Here we go again. Number of hours on Cordona before stumbling upon another dead body. Zero. Someone bled profusely here. A fresh crack, as if the crate was hit recently. A blood trail leading to or from the canal. A furrow in the ground. One thousand pounds. A fair sum, especially considering British currency isn't very common in Cordona. Malpal. Soaked with salt water. A simple leather sheath. Perfect for a dirk. Dust under the nails. I don't see much coal around here. A steel dirk, sharp. A common accessory among sailors and soldiers. I'd say the blade penetrated upward, however, the wound is too messy to be certain. An interesting tattoo. Does it mean something? Heavy boots, with one sole far more worn than the other. This man was limping, John. A violent death. But this man, limping. Coal dust. I think we're on to something here, John. Are these the rations the refugees get from the authorities? How do people even survive out here? <sighs> Police boots. Always happy to trample evidence. A man's footprint. A heavy boot with a worn-out sole. Oh, carnelian agate beads, a traditional African adornment. No hint of blood or impact. It might have been used as an improvised weapon. The blood sprayed off the blade after the strike. Someone was dragged against their will. The 
refugees have been detained and will not leave until all the circumstances are clarified. The cut is deep, potentially serious if not treated immediately. He is in shock, feverish and dehydrated. Sherry, you know first aid. Surely you have a duty to help this man. You can't leave him to certain death. It's unlikely anyone could get in or out of the camp by water without alerting the police guards. Sealed shut. I doubt our man could get through these grates. Passage, everything will go to hell. Sherry, just look at this. Living quarters in a sewer. What kind of a genius bureaucrat came up with this idea? If they find out about the passage, everything... isn't allowed to visit the crime scene these days. Roadman Cigarettes, a brand highly regarded by law enforcement officers. A single Malpal butt. So there wasn't any sophisticated infiltration plan. The good old police just let the man into the camp. Now we have everything we need to get the full picture of what happened at the camp. So, we have a thug who came to take a refugee woman with him. She resisted, but he dragged her by force. One of the refugees stood in his way, armed with a stick, yet he could do nothing against a cutthroat with a blade. The man didn't anticipate that the other refugees would intervene and stand against him. In the confusion, the woman managed to break free. The thug took fright and fled. He was stopped by the falling crates. He stumbled and fell, piercing his chest with his own blade. However, the wound didn't cause instant death. He managed to stand, but still bleeding, he lost his balance on the bridge and fell. Before all of this, the man had freely entered the camp through the main entrance. The police admitted him after they had a short smoke together. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. In our man's case, it's the same.